Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everything's got to be perfect tonight. I think the new boss is finally starting to notice me. Just the other day, he almost said my name correctly. That's great, honey. But then, he tried to high-five me. And I missed. Well, it happens to everyone. Not really. But tonight, I have a second chance, and I'm not going to screw it up. Honey, relax. Just enjoy the party. Don't stress. <laughs> Now, you boys have to be on your best behavior tonight. My new boss, Mr. Gooper, is coming tonight. Yes, he is. We wouldn't want him to think we've got wild animals running loose. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> Yuck. Guests make you do cute things. And they try to pet you. And worst of all, they talk baby talk. I'm out of here. I think guests sound like fun. Silly. <laughs> Come in. Oh, wait. What's the secret password? Oh, <laughs> he's just kidding. Come in. Make yourself at home. How about some punch? Do you have any food? What happened to us back there? We went completely wild. I don't know. All of a sudden, I just felt like shaking. Me. Yeah, I couldn't hold back. I was in a wild groove. Hey, Toad, are you locked? and their music. Keep it together. You heard what Mr. L said. Oh, oh, I know. 
Now you boys have, have to be on your best behavior tonight. tonight. My new boss, Mr. Goober, is coming tonight. tonight. We, we wouldn't want, want him to think we've, we've got wild animals, animals running loose. <laughs> you guys, whatever you do, do not give in to that great music. If we do, it would be bad for Mr. L, but mostly really, really bad for us. No. Don't give in. Our secret life as domestic pets depends on it. Got it? Gotta get back in there like nice normal pets. We can do this. Hey, come in. You're not Mr. Goober, but welcome. Let me take your coat. <laughs> this is stressing me out. Me too. If that music comes back, we're toast. Did you know our hearing is ten times better than a human's? You. I think I feel worse now. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, girls, we're gonna need music for this. just as soon as Mr. Goober gets here. Anyone hear from him? No? See? And this one here is just a big cuddle ball. All he wants is to be loved. Uh, who wants some more punch? Do you have any food? Keep quiet, dude. I'll come back soon. Uh, Sam! I was comfortable in there! <sighs> come on, you awesome music. You think you can take me down? I don't think so. <laughs> Mr. Goober is really late. The guests are getting hungry. Okay, I guess he's not coming. Maybe he didn't like the little smiley face I put on the email invite. Honey, relax. Why don't you show the guests some of Washington's amazing tricks? <clears throat> hey. hey, guys, want to see a cool trick my dog can do? What? Okay, boy, show everyone how you can balance a doggy treat for a whole minute. <laughs> Okay, boy. Steady now. Steady. You blasted music. You made me drop the dog treat. You ruined my best trick. Arf, 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 arf. I can't take it anymore. I've got to stop that music. Washington! Bad dog! Bad dog! What's gotten into you? Washington! 
What's happening in here? Arf, 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 arf. Ah. Uh, uh, sorry, you know how dogs are. Uh, they like to chase after cars and... Uh, Mr. Goober? Mr. Liverstone, I've been driving around in circles trying to find your house. I'm so glad you found me. It's Livingstone. Uh, never mind. It was actually my dog, Washington, who found you. Wow, what a smart dog you have, Mr. Livingstone. Very impressive. Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? I guess I was too wrapped up in the new Daft Prodigy Brothers album to focus on where I was going. Did you know they use sound samples only wild animals can hear? Ah, I can't help but want to go wild whenever I hear it. Uh, I haven't heard it yet. What? No. Come on. Excellent party, Livingstone! Glad you could make it! <laughs> Give me five, Livingstone! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. A surprise obstacle awaits on the other side. How exciting! Oh no! And the winner of the race will receive a year supply of pet food. A year supply? Until now! Well, I think it's time for me to fade out. That kind of partying stuff, that's really not my cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Vicky! Oh, no! <laughs> Alfie! <laughs> I see 
you wild ones. You're coming back with me into the forest where you belong. <laughs>
Wait! Hmm. Ah. This doesn't seem right. <laughs> huh? Where did the race track go? Watch out! Are you nuts? Ah! Huh? Where are you going? I got you! <laughs> Sam, you okay? Mm -hmm. I know you're still here, and I can smell each and every one of you. Where's the rest of the gang? You're all staying here in the wild, like real animals, where you belong. But we're too fancy for life in the wild. Huh? here before he wakes up. Huh? Wait! Where's Gracie and Alfie? Mm -hmm. And Vic! Who cares? You supply a pet food, remember? Ta-ta! Wow, what a jerk! <laughs> Wait for me! I'll go and check! I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Costume is killing me. Who knew wearing two layers of fur could be so hot? This must be what it's like to be a baked potato. I just want to rub my bare belly on a blanket of fresh moss under the shade of a pine tree. Oh, the whining. That's the price you pay for the fake life. You have no idea how much hard work it takes to fool everybody. You think it's so marvelous in this costume? <laughs> okay, gang, we're off to the neighborhood carnival. If we can learn to walk in this thing. We'll be back late. Left you extra kibble. Ouch. Sorry, hon. Whoop. Friends, thanks to the elves spending the day in costume, we get to spend this very hot day out of costume. Yippee! <laughs> We're bad enough with your costumes on, but au naturel, it's like bring on the barbarians. Yes! 
We should air these babies out. To the right, dear. No, that way. Oh, wait a sec. Stop. Oh, hello, Alvarez. Nice costume there, Livingstones. Why, thanks, Mr. Snubinsky. The only drawback is how hot it gets inside. Oh, that's why you're gushing? I thought you were dressed up as Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll go home and change. Push! Wash! Disaster City! Our costumes are gone! Sam, you're just not used to running around in your birthday suit. All this freedom is making you nervous. Somebody stole our costume? Our huh? costumes! <laughs> hey, what are you all looking at me for? Ha <laughs> ha! So hilarious! Now give us our costumes back, please. Uh, I don't have them. But even if I did, you were sick of your stupid costumes anyway, weren't you? Whatever. With my super nose, I'll find them in no time. Seeing what they smell like, that should be a cinch. <laughs> I'm getting a whiff over here. and Gracie stole our costumes. Are we allowed to panic now? No, focus. We have to get our costumes back, otherwise it's bye-bye good life and a hello gloomy forest. Oh no, how can I help? Return you to the forest, that is. Huh? Mm -hmm. There! All that's left are Eugenie and Susie's costumes. Ooh. They must have gone to the carnival in ours. Ours were too small. Why they smell too good. My wonderful costume! No! What are we going to do? Well, we can't hang outside Stark naked. I know that. <laughs> Back so soon? Victoria! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got so uncomfortable, I can't wait! Ah! Oh, yes, it's so hot! Isn't it more comfortable being a Roman than a horse? You can say that again. And we can see where we're going, too. <laughs> okay, we got ourselves a breather, but we've got to get our costumes back before the elves come home. But how? We can't go out like this. You're right. But fortunately, we have the perfect costume. Stay close to me. We can't let anyone see us. Yeah, well, I can't see anything at all. We're going to a real carnival with rides and everything. This is going to be awesome. Well, if this is any indication, it's definitely going to be memorable. Look! Like I said. Sorry. Those were your ears. We thought you were us. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Hey, Wash! Hey, Wash! Not now, Eugenie. No time for games. Bummer. Because I thought we were playing tag with Gracie and Alfie. Say what? Well, yeah. They went that way. Okay, gotta be super discreet. The best thing for us is to split up. Sam and I will go this way. Victoria, you go that way with Susie and Eugenie. What? No way! I only tagged along so I could watch you make fools of yourselves. I have no intention of babysitting. <sighs> so I guess we're spending the rest of the afternoon together. Is that the deal? Oh, yes! <sighs> Come on! There's tons of rides we want to try out! <sighs> Oh, it's a furnace in here. Phew, life was more comfortable as a cat. Don't sweat it. We'll have our old costumes back in no time. And then we'll never, ever take them off again. Hey, hey, why don't you look where you're going? Living stones? Back so soon? I thought you were going to change costumes. Nothing in your size. <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. Wait. Say what? Hey, 
Are you all right in there? <laughs> you seem a bit out of sorts there, Livingstone. Maybe you should go back home. <laughs> so, dude, anything exciting happened while we were gone? But, but, you, the horse. You seem a bit out of sorts there, Snubinsky. Maybe it's the heat. Why don't you go home? Huh? There's something I can't understand. Let them out of our sight. Now that we've lost Alfie, Gracie, and our costumes. Susie, do a flyby and see if you can't spot Alfie and Gracie from up there. Oh, is this a game? Exactly, that's what it is. Like hide and seek. I see them. They're heading home. Oh, and I think I also see the living stones. I think they're going home too. Quick, we've got to catch them before the elves get home. Susie. You guide us. Aren't you guys getting bored with all this running? This time, there's no letting them get away. <gasps> what is that thing? It's funny. It looks like a dinosaur. Uh, I can't take any more of this. I promise I will never ever let you out of my sight again. <laughs> oh, poor guys. You had to stay home alone all day. Must have been boring. And that's why we brought you a little surprise. <laughs> Since you couldn't come to the carnival, we brought the carnival home to you. Ta da! Costumes! Now we'll all be able to party together! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. 
Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. Stubborn wild ones. You guys just don't get it. You're not supposed to be here. It's not natural. You're coming back with me to the forest where you belong. <laughs> They did fine the last time we left them, and it's barely two days. They've got plenty of food and water. <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> yeah! You guys are going to stay home the whole weekend by yourselves. Come on, honey. We can't miss our reservation. The oysters are calling me. We'll be back before you know it. You guys be good. The dry cleaning. Yes, Mrs. L. We'll pick it up and drop it off within 24 hours. Guaranteed. Oh, well, we won't be here tomorrow. Can you just drop it in the backyard? Backyard. Got it, Mrs. L. Yes! <gasps> Two whole days to relax au naturel. <laughs> <laughs> Just you get these cleaned while you have the chance? The laundry guy will be here soon. Oh, yeah. It's so bad I can't even see. <laughs> yeah, probably time to freshen these up. This is exactly what I've been dreaming of the last few weeks. And it's so romantic. Uh. Uh. Honey, I feel a little weird. Yeah, things are looking kind of strange. Go back home before it gets worse. Ugh. Oh, this is great. I forgot how much fun it is to scratch all day. Oh, yeah. Massive scratching. Yeah, you can scratch those hard to reach places. Yeah, it's nice to also be our normal selves a little bit too. <laughs> Ah. Oh, you're right! To be wild without being in the wild! Yeah! We can be totally wild! Ow! Oh. 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 What are you doing? Do I look pale and green and sweaty all over? Are my eyes blotching red? No. Why? I thought maybe I was having a fever dream. All this wildness around me is all just too weird. <laughs> oh, come on, Vic. We're just having some fun. Join us. Uh, no. House cats do not act wild. Oh, there's got to be a lioness in there somewhere. Oh, come on. Give me a big cat roar. That's all you got? Please. <sighs> oh, Vicky! Oh, that felt really good. 
good. Yeah! Wow, yeah, well, Vic! because I'm seeing crazy things right now. Really sick. Seeing things? Do I look pale and green and sweaty all over? Are my eyes blotching red? No. Why? I thought maybe I was having a fever oh. dream. All this wildness around me is all just too weird. I've got an idea. It's a long shot, but it's the only one we've got. We're gonna have to stall them as long as we possibly can until our costumes arrive. But also... They'll think it was all just a really weird fever dream. <laughs> Stop, evil villains! Unhand the princess! Help me! Help me! Ah! <laughs> Take me to your leader! I'm taking over the planet! Help me, help me! I'm help. a wild, wild lion, and you are my prey! I'm taking over your planet! See? You want to be wild? You're all coming back with me! To the forest where you belong! Oh? <laughs> Get back here! Oh! <laughs> This feels kind of real for a dream. <gasps> Guys, you carry the elves back to the bedroom. I'll distract Mitch and get him out of here. Hopefully before the laundry arrives. Because if the laundry man sees Mitch, he'll freak out and we might not get our costumes back. Hey, Mitch! Why don't you pick on someone your own size? I'm gonna get you! I finally got you! <laughs> Goodbye! Have a nice trip!
in our house. What? Me too. But there were also weird spaceships and monsters in mine. Me too. Wild. Wow. <sighs> it was all just a crazy <laughs> dream. Oh, you smell just like a fresh pillow. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. out on my best moves. Check it! are nowhere in sight. Oh, Washington, sometimes it's as if you live in the wild. Don't you know we're training for the Royal Kibble Dog Show? There's only posters plastered all over town. The winner gets a year's supply of Royal Kibble. What? <laughs> <laughs> How do I enter the show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Impossible. What? What's the problem? Well, it's just that you are... How can I say this? You are one weird dog. What? Like when you bark, for example. Arr, arr, <laughs> woof! Woof! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're just trying to make us laugh. <laughs> it hurts! You'd better go before we laugh to death! <laughs> laugh all you want, but I'm not only gonna enter this show, I'm gonna win this thing! Come on, guys! I found one! I found one! A poster for the Royal Kibble Dog Show! Way to go, Sam! Okay, let's take it home and put it somewhere where Mr. Livingstone will see it. Oh, come on! Don't be like that! Okay, Susie, we'll wait for you at home. Don't be too late. Come on, guys. Mmm, spinach nut cake. I'm our <laughs> What's going on, boy? Huh? <laughs> Read for me. Royal K? 
Kibble is hosting a dog show? Interesting. Nice job, Susie. Thank you. I couldn't let the poster win. Hey, Wash, maybe we ought to sign you up. How'd you like to be the Royal Kibble King? <laughs> Classy stuff, Wash. You're a natural show dog. See? I mean, who can resist that hilarious bark? Let's do this. Okay, this is getting too weird. Roll over on your hind legs. Heel. Nice and nice. Nice job. Touch your tongue to your nose. That a boy. Now catch. Dog, wash we, I mean, you are gonna win big today. All hail the king! <laughs> now that's a good one. <sighs> Everything looks rosier after a three hour nap. See, Wash, when you become the new royal kibble king, can I be your bodyguard? Wow, what? Wash the royal kibble king? That's right, I'm doing the dog show. Uh, that is not a good idea. Oh, I know. You're still mad about that musical wake-up. No, no, Wash, that's not it. The judges, they... Vic, no negative vibes before showtime, okay? But... Sam? Get you, bud. Okay, okay, forget it. I won't say another word. Consider it. Zip. Welcome one and all to the annual Royal Kibble Dog Show. All of our canine contestants will be judged by me, the president of Royal Kibble. But only one of them will become king. Ready to win, champ? Totally. Nothing can stop me now. Well, hello, Livingstone. Hi there, Doc. I figured I'd see you here. Washington here is competing. Why, hello, Washington. Can't wait to examine those teeth of yours. Very unusual, sharp, and pointy. See you soon. Uh, Doc, could you tell me the vet wants to examine my teeth? But, but what do my teeth have to do with a talent show? The key! We've got to find the key so she'll tell us! It's not just a talent show. Winning is also based on physical appearance. The vet inspects teeth, fur, claws. It's the final event only for the 10 best dogs. What? Looks don't mean anything. Right, well, I don't make the rules. You can still win, Wash, I know it. Uh, no, Sam. If the vet examines me, I'll, we'll lose everything. It's like you can't win. Yeah, no negative vibes, remember? This fox uh, dog has to perform today. Or maybe I don't. Ready, boy? Here it goes. Washington, give a paw. Well, let's start simple. Roll over. Uh, okay, we'll try again. Sit, boy. Yeah! You're the best, Wash! You can do it, Wash! He can't do it. I guess we withdraw. He's usually very obedient. I... I... Oh, no! Poor Mr. Livingstone! <laughs> Did I say I told you so? It's amazing! He's even worse than our wildest dreams! <laughs> ah, 
now that's my dog. Uh, has he gone completely mad? Um, okay then. Next! Now here's a real champion for you. Well done, Wash. Now the vet is going to look you over. <laughs> Dog. Now open your mouth wide. Come on. I'm his bodyguard. It's up to me to save him. Ah! A wild boar! <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and dogs, it has just been brought to my attention that a wild boar is loose in the park. Run for your life! <laughs> Just save my life. But now, who's going to save Sam? Sam's been trapped! <laughs> Washington is in the house! Ow! Oh. A terrific beat! Meet you for Sam! Who cares about competing? Let's get down and party! I won! I won! I never win anything! Royal Kibble! Because this dog is king! An entire year of Royal Kibble just for dancing in a commercial? Talk about a dream come true. Next year's contest is just around the corner. We must get funky. <laughs> <laughs> 